A Parma woman is in trouble tonight with the law for running a virtual animal house. Good evening. I'm Danita Harris. Chris Flanagan has the night off. Search warrants were served on her home this morning, and authorities say when they arrived, they found more than 300 animals with many in deplorable conditions. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin was in Parma. He joins us now from the newsroom with more. And Michael, 300, that's a lot. It is a lot, Danita. We spoke to a man off camera who says he was the one that called authorities. He said once he went inside the home, he knew he had to do something. At the Parma Animal Shelter, you're likely to find these guys. <laughs> About 30 dogs snatched up this morning by animal control, taken from this home on West 54th Street that has been condemned. The stench. Was just one of the problems. In all, over 300 animals were taken, including rabbits, quail, cats, to name a few. She had birds in the basement that were caged, but they were just in deplorable conditions. Parma Animal Control has taken the dogs that now sit in cages. Anything is probably better than this. Take a guess what the brown stuff is in this picture. There was animal feces throughout the home. The home is a, well, this sign explains it. She claims she loves them, and this is her life, and it's her income. This was one of her dogs. The good mother was watching over her babies. The homeowner came to the door. She told us she sells the pups and birds at flea markets. All my animals are healthy. Animal Control says some of the animals have not been to the vet, and some of the cages found had been cleaned for weeks. I've lived here about um, seven years now. And Patricia Walensky, like her other neighbors, said they never had a clue. I was unaware of that, so, you know, um, then we might have a problem. I guess it's to the point where you can no longer keep the home in order, the dogs in order, the health in order. I guess that's where the line is drawn, but it is a tough one. The Parma woman has until Monday to get some 200 or so birds out of the house. Otherwise, authorities plan to take them. We've also learned this is not her first encounter with animal control. In 2003, they removed nearly 400 animals. For the same reasons. We're live in the newsroom on your side. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.